We're back inside of Raid Shadow Legends and the progress we have made is incredible. I have so much to share with you guys today. We've had so much advice and I've taken all of it. First things first, the dragon tournament that was just ending, we placed pretty well. Let's take a good look right here. Where is that? It's the dragon tournament. Check it out. I think we placed in seventh place, which gave us some decent rewards. Yes, we did. We got 60 gems, 2,276, and we got all of the stuff. We got the fragment, we got the epic tome, we got some gems, some chicken. I was really happy about the progress there, but now it's about the ice golem tournament. My goal here is to get the tome, get the fragment, get the gems, and try to place as high up in here as we can. To do this, things need to happen and things need to happen regarding the team that i've recently built i'm going to be showing that to you guys today i'm really excited about that as well but if you've never played raid shadow legends consider using my download link in the description of this video it directly supports me on this channel if you want this channel to succeed that's how you do it also guys it's going to get you two epic heroes and actually right now you can get yourself two free legendaries as well, at the time of recording this, we are just one day away from unlocking Rathalos. I can't wait to get him. It's going to be game changing, and that's going to just be really fun. At the point of you watching this, we've already got him, and we've started working on him. But let's take a look at the team that we have built. Let's head on over to the Ice Golem Tournament and see kind of how we built out the team. I'm gonna to explain to you what we did here as well. So let's go to battle, check out my team. We're gonna to go to team setup because yes, we're utilizing this feature now and the team has changed quite a bit. Let's go over here and see how this is all set up. Check out the order, check out how it's all going. We got High Katoon, we got Kale, we got Geomancer, Tyrell, and Armager, who's now up to a four star, four star ascended champion as well, Ty Tyrell has two ascensions. Geo has three. Kale, Max, of course. High Katoon only with one. But I want you to notice how we set up our rounds one, two, and three. We don't want High Katoon to use the Rally of the Horde in round one or two. We want that ready to go and to be the primary in round three. It's the opener. It's the first turn. The goal here, at least for Dragon, was to never allow the Dragon to get a turn. And it worked. Then we have Kale, of course, we're gonna be use, utilizing round one, whatever, two, whatever, round three, Disintegrate being his first. Geomancer, round one, we don't want quicksand grass to be used. Round two, we don't want it to be used, but round three, that should be the primary. That's what's gonna get that burn going. Then we have Tyrell with Singing Steel. That's gonna be the primary in round three, but round one and round two, we don't want him to use it at all. We want that ready to go. And Armager can do whatever he wants because this guy's just a beast. And that's going to be part of the progress and the upgrades we're doing today. And I guess I could say we're going to do something a little bit uh, not authentic here. Check out what we're about to do with Armager because this is something that some people might say you shouldn't do. But Armager is very important for what we are about to embark on with the Ice Golem. And we want to place. We want to do well. So we're going to make sure that we do, both by participating heavily in the event, but also by upgrading the skills of Armager. Where is this man? All right, so there he is. So now what we're going to be doing is trying to get his skills to max. And he is not a rare champion but we need to get him to max. So we are gonna actually use rare skill tomes to get him to max, even though he's not a rare champion. Can you believe we're doing this? Is this okay in your eyes? Well, we're doing it either way, and there we go. We got some tournament points as well. We got him up to five right there, and we got him up to six right there. As he sits, let's go take a look at him specifically. As he sits, his skills are five out of five and six out of six. This one attacks one enemy, decreases the turn meter by 30% if this attack is critical, and we have attacks one enemy. Enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived. So it's all about stealing the turn meter from my opponent, from the boss. And we have done some really good enhancements here on our champions. Check this out. Check out his accuracy, 142. Crit damage is sitting around 50%. Speed defense everything is looking solid you could look at the total stats right here 
He's looking really, really nice, but we didn't only do it for him. We did, we did this for, yes, we redid Kale. Kale now, look at the accuracy we got on him now, 142, perfect. Then we also got things going on Tyrell over here. Check out his accuracy, 149, love that. Also speed, 171. We have this in an order so that our champions go in the order that we want them to go based on what they do. We should have the fastest speed right here with 200, and we do. Accuracy doesn't matter here. All we need Haikatoon for is her speed to get the team moving. All right, now we're not done because we gotta get a little bit more going on here with the artifacts. We need to get this helmet, I believe the helmet, up. This helmet is for HP. We want to get HP as much and as high as we can. So we're going in and we're going to get it to level 16, which we can now do in a one click. There we go. Got the bonus HP, crit damage, defense, attack, accuracy. That's good looking right there. So now he has the helmet to max. We can't throw anything else in anywhere else, but I'm happy with where we are. Now it's time to put things to the test. And by the way, we've unlocked the Altar of Souls. I haven't even messed with this thing yet. I haven't even touched this thing yet. We haven't done anything in this thing yet. We need to learn about this thing before we start just messing things up and wasting stuff. All right, but we're going into the dungeon right now and we're gonna go against the Ice Golem. We're gonna try and push a little bit. We're going to level 10. We got our team just about as good as they could go. I am going to unclick super raids so I can figure out where our end is. I don't want to waste two raids if we can't get past the stage, right? So what I'm going to do right now is sip on my Echo Gaming mug coffee. By the way, we got a whole bunch of gear. I'm going to show you my gear that I just got in the mail yesterday. I'm going to show you that at some point inside of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too, guys, while you're here because it supports me and this is what I'm trying to do. All right, so far, so good. Plan is keep Armager alive for round three. He needs to stay alive. He's going to steal the turn meter. Something I learned, that yellow bar above the boss, you see that yellow bar? That's the turn meter. If we can keep that low, it prevents them from taking turns. Although right now, Armager was not able to use it right there. That's actually how we, oh my God. That's actually how we built it out for the dragon. This, is, this isn't looking so hot. I, it all depends on Kale right now. We have no HP burn on him either, so we need to... Can we get a little burn? Oh, we got it done! And that's because Kale is my nuker, and Kale is just incredible. I don't want to lose these other champions along the way. Tyrell, only four stars. Armager, only four. Only five stars for Geomancer, because we did get him up to five stars in our previous video. And Haikatoon, also only four stars. But let's push it. Let's see what we can do in the next stage. Do we need to possibly gear up Armager a little bit better? Maybe throw a little bit more HP into him somewhere? Possibly. I was working with what we had available at the time when we were doing all of the gearing. All right, now we're up against level 70. So we, did we already lose? No, we did not lose anyone yet. The goal here is I want High Katoon and Armager alive. Actually, I want all of them alive before we encroach on the Ice Golem. Let's see if we can. We're all still alive into the Golem. Increased speed on the turn meter. We're gonna one-time speed this so we can see. Decreased the turn meter right there. Decreasing the attack. No burn was set right there though. Uh-oh, Tyrell just took a big hit. He's gonna go decrease the turn meter as well. Disintegrate coming on in. See how I'm breaking this down? I'm starting to understand more what's going on. Decrease the turn meter again. We don't want him to strike. If we could do without that strike. Man, I actually like slowing it down and watching what's going on. It really helps understand how and why we built out the team the way that we did. The The issue now though, is that Kale is super low. Oh, we could get this though. Oh no, he didn't strike the boss. Woohoo! We did get it done. I get the feeling though, that this is about where we're gonna cap out. So at stage 11, we're getting chests four to five. We're attacking, I don't think I can get, I don't think I can get 12 done. I think that would be something that would be really difficult to be successful with right now. Now, I've also learned, because just to recap, if you haven't been here with me in every video, we have maxed out our gem mine. Gem mine is maxed. I'm getting myself approximately 15 gems a day, which is great. 
also, in addition to that, we have 947 gems. We could completely open up masteries on another champion if we want to. But something else that we've learned is that we can get these uh, masteries just from farming different zones. Who do we get some masteries on? Check this out. We got a couple of masteries on Tyrell. We got a couple of, oh no, nothing on Hikatoon. We got a couple of masteries over here on Geo. And we got a couple of masteries over here on Armager as well. Just from farming this zone, which I didn't even know about. Minotaur's Labyrinth. Huh, who knew you could farm things to upgrade your masteries for free? I didn't know it. So now, obviously we wanna be strong enough to get through stage 15, to make the most of our energy as we get through and try and unlock as much as possible. It's not probably as efficient to do it now, but being able to unlock a few of those initial masteries, it was actually a big deal. So for example, let's go into Armager really quick. Look at his masteries. We'll go in the full masteries right here. We were able to give him accuracy plus 10, which was necessary. And more important, we, we needed the extra 5% crit rate, so we grabbed it by 5% right here in the Masteries. But we didn't only do it there. We also got it going on on Geo as well. Check out his Masteries, and we could actually spend a little bit more. We got him accuracy, a little bit more accuracy that we needed. Now, I'm not sure I want to drop the next one, so we're going to hold it for now just to be safe. I don't want to make any mistakes. But as I mentioned, we also got some on Tyrell. Tyrell got, he's got himself some crit rate, we got him some accuracy, and then we got him increases accuracy by 20 when this champion has no skills on cooldown. So this is really cool that we can just slowly, as we go, upgrade some masteries without having to go all in like we did with Kale and just buy all of his masteries, which is what we should have done, being that he is our nuker, he was our primary. But having the gems that we have now, this conversation all came to be because now, okay, I'm getting 15 gems a day, right? That's great, that's great. And that's only with, with the gem mine. I'm getting it from other events, tournaments, and all that too. We're, we're doing good on gems. So what do you spend them on, right? Like what's the, what's the best thing to buy with gems? Really, the best thing that I should be buying with gems is right here, energy. Energy is what I need so that I can progress through these tournaments. I've spent zero dollars in the game so far, and the only holdback is energy use. So if I want to participate and be able to push these events, it's not even auto battles. It's the energy so that we could keep on progressing through. Because this tournament, I'm gonna go, once we're done recording this video, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna go throw it on auto and we're gonna walk away with our team going, with super raids going, so we get twice as much done, but we're gonna probably set it up so that it spends gems on energy once my energy is depleted, because that is an option. It's hard to watch your energy just go away like that. I mean, not your energy, your, your gems just fade away. But when we look at what rewards we're getting, it's important. I'd love to place in up here somewhere, eighth or above. Now, some of these guys, they're gonna be pushing pretty hard. It's been difficult. I think I took seventh with Dragon and I participated pretty hard in Dragon. But the cool thing is, we also have other events that are going on too, like Classic Arena Takedown. We haven't even messed with this yet. Shall we go? Shall we go take a look at my arena team and see how this looks? We have High Katoon coming in first. She's gonna give speed to the team. Essentially, we have a nuker team built here. My opponents should never go first and should never even be able to strike because High Katoon is gonna come on in with the first strike, then we have Tyrell, and we have Giscard on the D, and then we have Kale with his nuke at the end. Shall we test it out? Let's see how it works. Now, obviously this is an easy team right here, but we're gonna go do it anyway. We wanna get as many wins as we can. We're on two times. Check it out. But didn't even, was that? Yeah, that was, it did get to Kale. Okay, cool. This is how this has all looked for me recently. We'll do it again right here. Obviously, this is gonna be just a one shot to take him down because because they're set up the same way I set up my defense, right? And my power right now for my team is 45,000. We're looking at five stars, five stars across the board. We should be five, fine, start on auto. Do we get to go first? Yes, we do. We have more speed than our opponent. Then we're coming on in with the D, we're shutting them down, Kale nukes them at the end. This is how all of the arenas have been looking because of this new team that we built out. We have another one right here. Five, five, there's no reason why I don't believe their aura is 15%, mine is 19, let's give this a go. 
Do I get the first shot? We do. Increasing the speed, increasing the defense, more increased de What? Did Kale not go? Let's see. Okay, that time they did actually get a strike in, but we were still able to take them down. Not a problem. Look, notice we're going down the list right now, one at a time, able to take out most of these. Now, they do have the War Maiden. War Maiden is something that I've been grinding towards as well that I've yet to get. Let's see, though, if we can take them down. It shouldn't be bad, 15%. 20, 26,000 power. Let's see what we can do. So another one that we should be able to take down right here. Increase speed. Boom. Shut them down. They, the Rezzer was there, though. We're still good, though. I mean, there's never been a time that we've been able to go one by one, taking down every opponent along the way. All right, let's try it again. We're just going to keep on going until we can't. Until we get stopped. Oh, uh-oh. That could be right now. Uh-oh. Woo! What happened there? Did they have more? They could have had more speed than me. We're going to start this out a little slower so we can watch what's going on. They have 49,000. We have 45. They have a legendary, but I think we could beat them on the turn meter. Let's not start on auto here. Let's go one time speed and then auto. We got the speed. We got the decreased defense. We shut that down. We're on D right now. Woo! Warrior Princess coming in with a strike. Lightning coming in. Defense. We still were able to take them down. And it's all because we get those first strikes in. They were a stronger team as far as power goes against us, but they weren't able to still take it. Can we take down every single one on this journey? Let's see, we'll start on auto. I'm doing it on one times now, because I like to see what's going on. I like to have a good understanding of what we're doing here. Increasing our speed, coming on in with the nuke. Defense is up, ignore the defense, let's see. Haikatoon taking strikes to the face. Uh-oh. Just please leave Kale up. Giscard isn't bad either. He leaves that defense strong. So we got Disintegrate coming in. It missed their Kale, though. Oh, my God. We took down their War Maiden. Oh, God. We're going to lose it right here. Oh, no, we didn't. Wow. Wow. Okay, so these are getting more difficult. We are getting into an area here where it's a little bit tighter. We have only two more battles and they look like easier ones to take down. Let's do this. I think we can go right through both of these and then it's going to give us some progress in that tournament as well. Look at that. Shut that down super quick. A bang. Nice. And we have one more. Oh, no, it didn't even let us. It took us to the next arena level. We'll do one over here before we go back. So increases ally HP in all battles by 15%. We have the speed by 19%. They're five star. We have a six star. They also have Giscard at five. They have a Rezzer as well. Not a very good one, but we'll see how this goes. We have the speed. We have the first strikes. We took out their Nuker. Oh man, look at that. Impressive. A lot of fun ripping it through Arena. Now let's see what kind of progress that gave us. Okay, only 45 progression right here. It did give us what we need. Remember, we only need 210. All we need are 210. We just grabbed 45 from that, which was not a long time invested. And maybe we could even make our way up here and get some of these gems, which would be really nice as well. Really trying to grind through everything that we have for this tournament, taking advantage of every single day and unlocking Zingor, a Blade Master. I think it's totally doable. As you guys can see, these are all the opportunities that we have to pick her up. The Fragment Event Calendar for a total of 135 progress right here totally can be done, and we're gonna make this happen. That's the goal, that's the plan. The first comment's from It's Velo, and he says, I would use the gems on Geo's Masteries and six star him. Well, we are definitely going for the six stars. Make it easier to target farm masteries on specific champions when you have fully mastered, mastered champions as they can't gain any more Minotaur scrolls. That's a good point as well. Let's move on to the second part. He's talking about the gem mine. It pays itself back in 100 days, so it takes some time before you are gaining anything from it. It's definitely a good idea to get it done sooner rather than later, but if you were to start a new account right now, I'd probably get masteries full on two to four champions based on how how good they are well i mean as it sits right now we do have the gem mine we do have masteries on kale we could get masteries on geomancer if we want to we have the gems to do it but i want to make sure that i have the energy needed to win tournaments like these 
so that I can get more gems, more rewards, and unlock more champions. So I want to get a little bit more of a surplus on my ma on my gems before I start dumping them into more masteries. But thanks for the comment there. It's Velu. The next comment is from Parker Lewis. He says, honestly loving this channel. Well, thank you, man. No, he doesn't do everything perfect. And yes, he misses some things, but he brings the echo vibe that breaks the game down and finds the enjoyment out of simple things. That is exactly what I'm going here to do. I know that I am, have a lot to learn and I never said that I'm an expert here, but I plan to be as I learn more and more over time. Got to take you guys on that journey. He says, I can't wait until he starts doing Doom Tower, Hydra and Centranos. Got a while till then, but I'm in for the long haul. Well, first of all, Parker Lewis, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. And yes, we can start the Doom Tower. I haven't even touched it yet, but I'm gonna, maybe we'll do that in our next video. First time ever touching the Doom Tower. That should be a fun one for sure. Uh, thanks for the comment, and I'm glad that the community, you guys are seeing what I'm actually doing here, what the actual plan here is. And as you can see, we are crushing through the Ice Golem's Peak. So we're gonna do some progress and unlock more fragments with this, which is uh, quite awesome. All right, now I mentioned to you guys I got some new gear. Check out what came in the mail. Got my wife a hoodie right here, Echo Gaming. If you see, saw my video with Ash the other day, he said these are the softest hoodies in the world. He isn't wrong. So Echo Gaming hoodie, got myself a couple of shirts too. Got myself here the uh, Octopus Echo. We got the name over here on the sleeve as well, Echo Gaming, love these. And one of the other new designs right here, the Echo Skulls, again, with the Echo Gaming on the sleeve. Some new gear, I finally was able to pick some of it up for myself and uh, looking forward to wearing it. I'll leave my link it's actually on my link tree with all my links, but I'll try to remember to leave the link to the store itself in the comments if you guys want some gear. If not, that's cool, but I was kind of thought they were cool. I want to share. Also, we got these mugs too. Mugs are always the first thing I buy though. So as we continue to crush through Ice Golem's Peak, I am feeling very good about my placement inside of the tournament. I want to go ahead and thank Burnt NPC. He's been hopping on calls with me and kind of guiding me through the game teaching me about how the battles work, how turns work, what each champion does and helping me build them out, which has really led me to have a better understanding of the game and be able to bring you guys a little bit more analysis of what I'm thinking when we're going through. Now, of course, we are far from perfect and have a ton more to learn and a lot more to engage in inside of the game, like the Doom Tower, which we should definitely do in the next video, which will come out tomorrow. So if you guys wanna be there and not miss out on my next set of progress or whatever's going on inside of the game, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out because this has been a lot of fun. We're here chilling in raid, enjoying the grind, crushing people in tournaments, and now crushing people in arena as well. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.